Uh, so together with Martin Fowler, you were responsible for coming up with the concept of microservices. So in the past seven years since its inception, have you seen the use of the term and the concept evolve from what it initially was? Yeah, absolutely. I think things have changed, but I think it's been a good change. I think it's I think things have evolved in a, in a, in a good way. And the reason I say that is because you know we're all really looking back at microservices and that that definition. I think it was it was almost like a like a meta paper for like a scientific you know for research in the sense that it was gathering a whole lot of good things that people were doing at the time. You know, it's almost a bit like XP. It's like you take all the practices and you turn it all up to 11 in extreme programming. That's the, you know, the old joke about that. Um, and I think microservices is the same. If you look at the individual components, they were all there around, you know, and had been and been built on for a number of years. So think, I guess you could, you could pick up things like the products over projects and organized around business capabilities. Those are the principles or characteristics. And you can see their origin in things like domain-driven design. You know, you can see the the the, the origin in, in 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 concerning ourselves with the business aspects of of the problem we're trying to solve, as opposed to like the, the layered te technical aspects or whatever. The interpretation of what agile means now is so broad; it's probably diffused from its original concept. So you said microservices is being interpreted in a similar sort of way. How 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 are people using the terminology which wasn't really a, a envisaged by by you? It wasn't so much a microservices have to look like X. It was more um, the, the spirit of a microservices architecture is to take good architectural practice and then uh, essentially take it to the extreme with a set of constraints, these principles guiding you. Um, so originally there were things like, you know, um, it's very much like the 12-factor app, apps from Heroku. Um, those, those constraints and principles, they came out practically the same time as we were doing the first um, first set of sort of microservices uh, architectures in ThoughtWorks, and and Netflix was doing it, and and, and so on in the Guardian and that, um, and 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 that, those the, the sort of spirit of microservices was to was to was to well was to build well architected, uh, evolve well architected systems um, based on these small components where you know where you took the idea of single responsibility principle almost like to, to uh, to extremists, right? So, you know, we, we talk about turtles all the way up and down, you know, so a, a, a method in object-oriented languages, a method has a single purpose, single responsibility, a class has a single responsibility, a namespace has a single responsibility, you know, so a package, and then, you know, a, a library or, or an application has a single responsibility, and then you you, you sort of scale those up at, uh, to be you know, to, until you're at the, the, the level of a business capability, which might be represented by a number of microservices interacting. But the key thing is, it, it was that you know you had these these small things that were well that were well designed um, using using standard patterns, using standard integration patterns. I think what it's come to me now, in, in some senses, it's crystallized more. It's it's more um, it's more of a firm definition. People tend to think of microservices in a number of ways. Than they think.